Hello everybody and welcome back to the character showcase. We have a brand new character in the mix, Andromeda. And guess what? Not only is this a new great looking character, it's a character by the creator of the amazing Mastema. So this is bound to be of high quality. Mastema is a great character with unique unlocks as does Andromeda. Of course, for the purposes of these videos, I have already pre-unlocked everything so that I can showcase them. Um, but yeah, very high quality character, very high quality items, and I am expecting much the same from Andromeda. I'm going to go over to the Steam page and just read off some of the details for the character because it does have some very interesting uh, some very interesting details indeed. Although I will say, apparently the character is meant to be played bl blind, and so some of the things in there are a little vague. But essentially... Um, reach for the stars as Andromeda, a new character that revolves around planetariums. Normally planetariums are rare and not usually worth skipping treasure rooms for, but Andromeda makes them much, much more worthwhile and easier to get. You'll be able to get at least one a run, up to three. Andromeda starts with a new item called Gravity Shift, which can stop all tears and projectiles in midair, making them fall down after some time. It's also Andromeda's ticket to more planetariums. All you need to do is shift reality in the right place. And then Tainted Andromeda, when a massive star dies, it collapses on it itself and creates a black hole. And that's all we get. We've got 14 items, including 5 new planetarium items, 7 trinkets, 4 runes, 1 new card, and more. I'm excited to get into this. This character seems very interesting. I know virtually nothing about it. This character came out pretty much yesterday. So already we've got a unique firing mechanic. This guy has a um, built-in tiny planet and... Um, Anti-grav tears by the looks of things, which is scary. <laughs> um, so one thing I was wondering, I'm going to wait until we get into a room with enemies' tears first. But it said about gravity shift, stopping tears in midair. I wonder if that stops our tears or just the enemies. But it did say that um, gravity shift, we're going to be wanting to use it in, the, in a certain room in order to get planetariums. Now I'm thinking treasure room first is probably the best idea. God, this is going to be a little difficult, you know. I'm liking this though. Having a character that starts with um, items that people generally feel are quite bad, in my opinion, is a good thing. It um, it opens up to much more uh, synergies. Also, we started with a smelted um, telescope lens and um, also the friendship bracelet, which makes uh, familiars orbit around us, which is intriguing so yeah we're gonna, we're gonna try and use gravity shift in our item room here i want to wait for a room with enemies that have projectiles before trying gravity shift in there because obviously it stops them in midair i'm like i said I'm, I'm not sure if it stops ours but i'm gonna assume it doesn't i'm not sure though right so fortune cookie is actually really good for us because it's some hp uh i am gonna gravity shift first though and there you go we we got one straight away so i'll, I'll grab that and we've got a uh, what seems to be dead planetarium. It's like a cracked planetarium. Intriguing. Now, question is, yes, okay. So, that's interesting. That's interesting. We can uh, get ourselves planetarium items in lieu of our normal items. Now, I do wonder what's the bar to entry for that, because... I'm sure that you can't do that on every single item room because it said you'll get up to three planetariums. Now, the, the the difference is that wasn't a normal planetarium, was it? So, are we ever gonna get an enemy? That, okay, there you go. So it it does stop ours in midair as well. Okay, and it seems to have a pretty reasonable recharge time as well, which is nice. Um, so we can kind of use it, um, kind of like anti grav tears to kind of set up a little bit of a trap, get a bunch in midair like that. And then set them up ready for him to walk into them. That's kind of interesting. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. And we get damage up to start as well. Now, let me go and try one other thing here. I just... I'm trying to suss out this character. And I think that... This is the best way to do it. Gravity Shift gives us new items and a new layout in here. Now, another thing I want to try. Also, I'm liking Gemini orbiting around us. It's kind of funny. Um... Okay. So that progressed us to the next floor. Interesting. And then it's it stays like this. And then I'm imagining the shop stays like this as well, right? 
Okay. And what happens if we do it in a regular old room? Nothing. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do some some testing here. I'm going to go into our cash room and see what that is. Uh, I realize our health is a little precious right now because we only have soul heart HP. But I'm I'm interested. Um, ooh, unfortunately, that's not really something we can use. Unfortunately, that doesn't do anything. But at least now we know. Um, okay. So secret rooms, shops, and item rooms all have an effect. Now, the purpose of the secret room flip, I'm not 100% sure on that one. That one seems a little... Um, a little bizarre, but we'll uh, we'll, we'll work it out. Oh my god! So we kind of want to be using our gravity shift to create impenetrable blocks. Also, let's try out the sacrifice room. See if anything happens in here. No, it does not. We're just going to kind of keep experiment with this. I can definitely see why um, Hybrid, the creator of this character, said to go into this blind, and I'm glad that I have done it. I'm hoping we find one of the uh, one of the items that I've unlocked for this character during this run. Obviously, there's a lot, we've got a lot of modded items and things on, so we might not, but it'd be nice if we did. Let's create a little barrier there. So far, this is going pretty well, though. I mean, we've got extra damage as well, which makes this a little easier, and Gemini's uh, helping out a ton as well. So basically, I, th I think the idea with our item rooms is we can take a look, and if we don't like the look of the item, then we can swap it out for... Uh, a potential planetarium item. Like I said, I'm still a little confused as to how exactly that works. Um, we got some reflected stuff here. Also, we got this trinket again. Um, the moon card's pretty nice for us here. Okay, so let's go in here. And we get an item I do not like. I want to kill this dude first. Ooh, okay. So we got this little thing around us here. Which I'm guessing tells us... Okay. Okay, now I'm now I'm just confused. Did I just get lucky that first time? I wonder how I get into regular planetariums then. Right, I've got to just go in here and check. Okay. I was sure it would be empty, but I had to check. And then I'm guessing I can no, I can't. Fl I can't flip again. It doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, I'm a little confused on how I get to regular planetariums. I'm hoping I figure it out by the end of this run. Um, but so far we've just managed to get into a fake planetarium. Ooh, we got a good item here. Uh, plus one charge rate active whenever I use a card or pill. We will just take this for now, though. I mean, I guess I should shift. Can I... One thing I need to check. Can I shift back? Or once it's shifted, is that it? It seems to give us an item from a random pool, but at double the cost, which is kind of an interesting trade-off. And I can't flip back in that regard. We should probably check out what's going on with the secret room as well, really. Goddamn, we're getting so many golden chests. This is great. Okay, we're doing well here. Right, let me just quickly go and flip my secret room and see what see what gets revealed to us in here. Okay, nothing. So this time that didn't do anything. Maybe it only works if there's stuff in the room, potentially. But last time it, it, there was chests in the room and it just removed them, so... Have to say, I'm, I'm loving the character so far. I'm not really getting it quite yet, but I'm sure that's part of the charm. I'm sure that's part of the point of this character. It takes a little while to uh, kind of learn the ropes off sort of thing. Okay, that's lost coin. We're definitely going to take the um, the road of uh, angel deals here if we've got soul heart HP only. Hey, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking this item room effect thing. Obviously, it seems like it's some sort of risk. Like, you're not always going to get an item. I just got lucky that first time. Um, but then again, for Samson's chain, an item that I would literally not take otherwise. Fair play. An item I, I literally would not be taking. This this character definitely seems challenging just because of the starting items that you have. Make it a little difficult. I mean, Tiny Planet's always one that's a little bit uh, scary to use. I love having a character based around it, though. I think it's going to teach more people to actually enjoy Tiny Planet as an item. 
Especially since it got changed in Repentance. So many people don't realize that it's not as bad as it used to be. This is yet another room that I'm not too interested in. Um, so I'm going to try it again. And this time we did actually get um, a planetarium item. So basically, my, my, my current question is when it says access to one planetarium a run, if not more, is it speaking about those planetariums or is it speaking about different planetariums? Because I'm not sure. Because they're, they're obviously not normal planetariums because we're getting um, star sign items, not planetarium items. So it's a little confusing as to which way that, that's going. Oh, I think I'll take that. Um, I'm hoping that I can get up to... Do you know what? We should probably try blowing up these. I want to try and get up to 30 cent here so we can actually flip in our shop and get some use out of it. I think that'd be pretty nice. But yeah, so far this, this is an interesting gimmick for a character. I like it a lot. Okay, one cent off. One cent off. But yeah, we kind of know where, where we want to be gravity shifting at the minute. Kind of. <laughs> I mean, I kind I know where it works. I don't know where I want to be doing it. So that's uh, probably a different story there. Maybe I can just blow up my donor machine. I'd rather not, though, if I can get like a single penny from somewhere. Let's go do our boss and we'll come back and see. Uh, also, we could try this out. Hmm. Could be here. There you go. Okay. Really, just two extra bombs? I'm just going to play that once just so I guarantee I have the money. Right, so we go into our shop. We gravity shift and we get this. There you go. Okay, I kind of, I, I like this idea with the shop. That's really cool. Definitely it's got some risk associated with it, but if you play it right, it's actually very, very valuable to you. Be careful. Is he going to jump up again? Yes, he is. Try not to damage him. Let him jump up properly. Really? Really? That bomb just absolutely screwed me. I keep forgetting that the tiny planet tears are going to end up screwing me from time to time. Okay, good. We got a burn heart of that. Ooh, extra shot speed with damage is very nice for us here. Although, weirdly, that gave me no shot speed. I'm stuck at the shot speed I'm currently at. Now, this may seem like a little bit of a waste, but I've got to sort of exhaust my options here. I'm going to just check in here for a flip. No, there's no flip in here. Okay, I just had to check. It probably won't flip in here because I destroyed everything, but I'm going to try it anyways. And then I'm going to try the mirror room as well. I like this exploratory stuff of, of finding a new character with a new gimmick and learning how it works by sort of going around and testing different things. I feel like almost... Like, there's probably some secret in the mirror dimension, like, item room. So I'm going to go and try that out. I mean, I could die doing this, but at the minute, this is a showcase. I don't mind about winning the run. So if we do die, we'll just play another one. I don't really mind. Uh, but I'd hope not to die. I, I do find it interesting that we, um... That we can get shot speed ups. I'm wondering why that is. If this is the room, if I'm, if I'm ever to die in a room, it's this room. Seems like tap firing is actually a really good method with this character. We'll scratch card here. Hey, so a Laz. Oh, Judas even. Oh, that, to be fair, I did forget how awful this room was as well. This room's pretty, pretty tough. What's one more guy? Ah, oh, there, there they are. They're just stuck behind the poop. Come on now, little head. Get over here. There you go. Okay. So if I come in here now and I gravity shift, okay, it doesn't have an effect. That's fine. I just wanted to test it out and see. That could maybe be like a little unique thing that they could, they could add in as a little secret. 
but it's no problem that it doesn't have it. I do wonder what happens if you actually get a planetarium and then use this gravity shift in the planetarium. I'm curious. Right. I'm going to go down to the mines because I've opened it up already. Why not? But so far, I've been using it in a lot of our item rooms. But then again, we've not been getting great item rooms, so not a big deal. Well, that guy did manage to hit the fire. Oh, wait. No, it's because I've got the singe thing. Fire comes up from underneath enemies, and it's actually lighting those guys on fire. Wait a minute. This looks quite horrid. It's quite a good trap room, though. Props to whoever made this. I quite like it. I don't know why, but I feel like secret room's definitely here. Ah. Oh. I'm wrong. Okay, mushroom boy. Yeah, so sadly whipped cream isn't isn't doing anything for us right now because it does rely on shot speed ups to do extra damage. But it's not it's not having any negative effects on us at least. Some rock flies in here. A few more rock flies. Oh damn, these guys can be tough. Some of the Ipecac rooms. I really like the Ipecac rooms, honestly, in gameplay. They, they, they've worked out better than I thought they would. When making them, I didn't realize they'd be as good as they are. Okay, I think I probably do want King Baby, right? Because King Baby will orbit me. I'm not exactly sure on that, but I think he will. Ooh, actually, actually, we've got a bit of a synergy here. So, we can, we can do this and then go boom. There you go. Yeah. That's nice. We have a little bit of a synergy going on here. That's that's actually really nice. Okay. That's a very, very good uh, item synergy we've got going on. Look at that. And the actors, if they've been gravity shifted as well, they kind of hang in the air for a while. That's really nice. Maybe that's why the shot speed's so low, to keep them hanging in the air for longer. Something to do with that. It's like a manipulation of the shot speed. But our range stat isn't super high. You'd think for hanging them in the air for a while, the range stat would be quite high. Oh, that's... That's beautiful. I love this little synergy here. This is obviously, like, not a hard-coded synergy. This is kind of an unintended synergy, I think. But it's, it's very, very cool. Right. Let's go back over to our boss room. I meant item room when I said boss room there. That's stupid. You know what I meant, though. <laughs> right. But yeah, this this should this should set us up for some good damage here. Set us up for some good damage indeed. Gemini's doing a great job too. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. And it sets up like this little wall. And also, tier detonate is actually better now because it can regenerate multiple times a room, which is really nice. I think we will take that. We do kind of need a tier up. And now let me just check. Yeah, if we gravity shift then, there's nothing that happens. Okay. Okay, we haven't actually tested out one of these rooms yet. Nah, no, nothing in here either. There you go. Oh my lord, I kind of forgot this. This might crash the game, but I've got to try it. It almost crashed the game. I still got hit, though. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Ill-advised. Very ill-advised. Okay. Keep on going down. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting the gist of this character now. I'm getting the gist of this character. Uh, it does seem that our planetarium chance is rising, despite us going to our item rooms. I think... Ah! I've just I've just sort of had a little, a little brain thought here that might be correct. It might not, but maybe when we use the, plan, uh, the gravity shift in an item room to take the dead planetarium item, it, it teleports us... Oh, goddammit. It teleports us out of the room and acts as if we never went into that item room, therefore giving us bonus planetarium chance. I see. So that could be why we're getting more planetarium chance. Really? Really? Okay, that 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 almost went so su super, super badly.
I am kind of losing quite a lot of health here. Mum's underwear, great. Can't gravity shift it. I, I keep trying, just in case. Okay, health isn't looking too good, but we should be able to buy some on the next floor. Yeah, I'm kind of understanding how this whole item room thing works now. Planetarium chances up to 45% look, so... I believe that's at least somewhat how it works. We risk our item to get, um... A possible star sign item, but we could also lose an item. But... In doing that, we gain extra planetarium chance. That was taking quite a look. Dude, what the hell just hit me? Oh, my god, I might die. I just realized what hit me. My stupid tiny planet pushed the little bomb into me, didn't it? I'm on three health now. I just lost two whole hearts. Yeah, these enemies are nightmares for us because our shots are just pushing everything around. Okay. So, I basically have to test this theory on this floor unless the item's real good. Okay, I, I can do it on this floor. Gravity shift here. Takes us here. We get Ares, which isn't great, I'll admit. But it's decent. It's at least a pretty big speed up. And now, because this is relocked, I believe that counts towards planetarium chance. I might be wrong in this, by the way. I just, I've seen that a planetarium chance is up to 45%. And I haven't skipped an item room yet, so that's the only way I can think that that's working. Oh, God. That was kind of close. I'm just worried about my HP at the minute. My HP is just not good at all. <laughs> Took way too many hits from those bombs. Right, let's keep it going. Yeah, these thumpers have really fit this floor as well. These, uh, I think they fit this floor really well because they got the crack in the head and like shake the screen as they as they use their attack. It's really cool. Yeah, let's just create a minefield for this guy. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! That was kind of close. Yeah, we're gonna be pushing bombs around like crazy here. It's gonna be kind of hard to keep a track of what's going on where, but I'm trying my best. Got him. I remember the first time I fought that guy, I got an item from doing that, and I've never got an item from it again. Please give us a lot of HP. Pascal Candle's real good, but also the Relic is pretty good too. I think we're better off with the Relic right now, I have to say. Gravity shifting in this room didn't do anything, but then again... I am a little stupid. I did it after I took the item. I probably should have tried it before taking the item, but at the same time, I did kind of need the relic. <laughs> right, so let's just take a little look-see. Um, our planetarium chance did increase. That is indeed how it works. Okay, we figured it out. The only problem is planetariums... Oh, wait, I was just about to say planetariums can't spawn on the womb, but that's why we've uh, got the telescope lens. Telescope lens allows planetariums to spawn on the womb and further, I believe. Maybe it's just on the womb. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure on that. But we should be able to see planetariums further than um, dank depths too. Oh my god! I need some health. Real bad game. Oh, I'm getting hit by everything. Cool shades. Interesting. Definitely gonna gravity shift on this one. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. You know what? We'll see if we can blow up these two and get something. There you go. That's what we needed. Okay, so hopefully we'll get a planetarium this floor anyways, but we'll see. We shall see. That's not really worth our money right now. Ooh, I do want to go into the arcade because I did install some mods to uh, improve the arcade a little bit visually and audio-wise. Just because I like the way the uh, anti-birth one is. Yeah. Hey, we got baby, baby, baby. Did you just steal a penny from... Dude. 
I didn't mean to play both of those at once, but I guess I'm doing it now. Right, we got all of them. They're all here. I kind of, I kind of like the rotating baby, 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 baby. Look at him. <laughs> That's kind of great. Okay. Let's keep this trainer rolling. I've not really been using Gravity Shift defensively very often. I, that's something I, I feel like I need to get better at. Um, it's something I just haven't really done at all. Oh, for God's sake, game. Why even allow that room to exist for me? Hey, another soul heart from the relic there. Good, good. Good. We are doing a lot of damage with this tier detonator business. Definitely saving our ass here. I really love tier detonator. I think it's so good. It's one of those. It's one of those items that I feel like on a lot of runs it's not very good, but on some runs it's just the best. There's a good reason why it's in the shop. Considering it's a damage item, you don't often get those in the shop. But I think this has a good place in the shop pool. Uh, do you know what? We've got enough keys. Let's try this out. And we got a stars. Okay. It would remove Gemini, but I feel like this is probably a pretty good idea. Um, Gemini is good, but not, like, completely necessary to our current build. we just got to find where the secret room is, which is a little hard. Don't know why they, did, they didn't set off. Come into my web. Could be just behind this rock here. There it is. Okay, we got steam sail there, so let's do that. We get killing enemy grants a small damage up, but um, also gives a little bit of a look down. Our luck is crazy right now, so that's fine. And we got, um, converts one burn heart to one heart container. Red hearts have a 4% chance. Uh, sadly, that's not great. So, I guess one thing I want to try here is if I gravity shift. Very interesting. Okay. We can actually gain wisps. Now, I do wonder if it could do anything that gives us the specific wisps of the specific items. That would be even better. But that's pretty cool. We can use gravity shift in a few different ways to get some extra to get some extra loot. I like that. Yeah, you step into this mess. You step into this mess. Yeah, I don't I don't mind about the look down because our look is crazy right now. We're probably going to lose a lot of our um, wisps here, but that's okay. Actually, we didn't, surprisingly. I'll take the Polaroid for now. I'm not very confident going down to this next floor that we're going to be living. Um, but we'll see. So our planetarium chance is 85% now, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we will take the glitch heart, see what we get. Sadly, just a half red heart. Oh my god. Pop that. Ah, oh, yes. Soul hearts are coming in now. We got a strength card here as well, which is going to be really good for the boss. I don't know which boss, but a boss. Nice. Sadly, no more soul hearts in there. Right, okay. So we definitely want to we want to full clear this floor looking for a planetarium because there's a very good chance that one exists. Yeah, another thing about telescopic lens as well, or telescope lens, whatever it's called, it actually gives you the chance to find more than one planetarium, which normally you can only find one. So it's an interesting idea to just have that inherently um, smelted in. Like, it's a good, a good way of doing it. Rather than having to hard code that stuff, you just give yourself that trinket, because it does all of it for you. It plays into this character very well. Now, I'd be surprised we don't get a single planetarium in our whole run here, but we'll, we'll find out. But I definitely think the playstyle of this character leaves... Uh, it, it, it's got a lot of, of interest. Like, there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on with this character. But not a lot of characters have going for them. Yes, another soul heart. Thank God. Yes. 
Yeah, it takes a little while to figure out. What am I getting hit by at the minute? It takes a little while to, to figure it out. Oh. But once you do, it kind of clicks and it makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. I just want to clear all the rooms we can here, just because just it is very likely we have a planetarium on this floor. If not this floor, we'll definitely have one on the next. It would be kind of, If we don't get one on this floor or the next, we are very unlucky. Because we're currently on an 85% chance for this floor. And I don't think our chances will go up on the next floor, but still, 85% twice in a row is quite a lot. Okay, just hope they all die to that. Thank God they did. Can you stay in that bath of, of tears, please? I see you there, Dominic. That's two in one floor. Game! Okay, just a, just a, a hot suggestion. Can you make it so the tears don't push around bombs? I know that that's a really minor thing that you shouldn't have to fucking help me out with, but still. <laughs> Each tier fired has a chance to make a meteor fall from the sky. The meteor falls at a random position, explodes on impact, can bear enemies, and varies in damage. Ooh, that sounds a bit risky. I think I'd rather take this. This is pretty good. Uh, I will do this as well, because I've got the uh, I've got the bombs. Damn it. Also. Flipping in this room does do something. Interestingly enough, considering it's from a different mod. I had to try it out. I'm surprised it does something. Yes. Coming to my impenetrable wall. Intriguing indeed. Intriguing indeed. We, another thing we kind of need... There we go. We kind of need damage ups. We've not really had many damage ups here. Hey, shooting for four seconds will make all your tears best to a holy laser ring. Hey. This is pretty cool. I'm very worried about my HP, but... Okay, we've got a little bit of an anti-synergy here, but at the same time, I've got kind of an idea. We just, we, the only thing is we're going to have to keep quite a close eye on our on that charge back. If you, if you look, if we release like this, it just doesn't release them. So what we do is get as high as we can, then we release, and then we do that, and then we go boom. That's a pretty cool synergy, right? <laughs> So we kind of want to tap fire. We're not really going to be able to use it in normal rooms because uh, using tear detonator automatically just covers the screen. But in a boss room like this... Oh, ho, ho, that's deadly! That's deadly! Oh my lord, that's amazing. Okay. Okay. We've got some interesting stuff going on here. Now, we could use Gravity Shift to make this even better, but it's going to be a little hard to coordinate if we use Gravity Shift, I think. <laughs> That's such a cool little synergy we've got going on there. And again, that is not an item from this pack. That is an item from Ipecac. So, it's just uniquely synergizing with an item from a different pack, which is kind of... I wouldn't say it's rare, because it does happen, but it's its really interesting when that sort of thing happens. Because it's obviously like an unintended synergy that's just kind of perfect. Detonate the bombs! <laughs> oh, do you, do you see that then? I walked onto that at the very moment it turned back into a red foo. That's just rude. That's just rude. Now, I don't think we can get another planetarium this floor. I mean, technically we can, but it's a 10% chance. I am not, not messing around on this room. Detonate the bombs. Boom. <laughs> So one thing I do want to try is, while I'm fully charged up like this, can I just, like, go next to enemies? No, that does not work. That does not work at all. Okay, okay, we have learned our lesson. Don't try doing that again. This is a horrible room, by the way. Horrible room right there. My god. That was kind of close. Yeah. 
Release the bombs. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. These eyes are going to be an absolute nightmare to get killed, aren't they? Okay, no, that, was, that wasn't so bad. Release the bombs. Boom! <laughs> That's so enjoyable. That's so thoroughly enjoyable. Okay, Alexa Baby's fantastic, but I have to try this. Oh. Oh. That hurts my soul a bit, that does. Now, something I've got to try as well is... Can I do it again to that? No, I can't. Ugh, I had to see if it would take me to like a new item or something and see if there was anything wacky going on, but... Sadly not, but that's part of it. That's part of the charm. Part of this, uh, part of the uh, the experience of a character like this. This is such a good showcase run. Now I will admit, I'm not really showcasing the abilities of the gravity shift outside of um, the non-combat uses. I'm not really using it in combat all that much. But I feel like the um, the tier detonator is creating a, a a sort of version, a version of what what tier uh, a gravity shift would be doing for us. So I think it's fine. Fuck you. Get those burn orbitals going. I don't think we're gonna live, I'll be honest. I don't think we're gonna live. Who on earth created this mess? That was a gross room full of nightmares. Okay, we can't release the bombs on this guy because he's too far away. So we gravity shift and then we go... Boom. Yeah, it's, you, they, they kind of fall a little too fast for that to work. Bomb! No thank you with the reflecteds. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is... Wait a minute. Let's see what sort of stats we're getting from that. Oh, yeah. We need that. <laughs> we need that. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's Sig Monstro. Here he is. That did not work as intended. Fuck me. That did good damage, but not the damage I was hoping for. Damn it. I'm trying to, like, melee damage him with it. Dude, you are wrecking my day right now. Oh, God. I used a bomb. Why Why do I Why do I do these things? Oh, you bitch. You bitch of a game. Boom. I love that. Just detonate that boy. <laughs> Just absolutely detonate him. Okay, we got kind of a bunch of trash here. Leech is good. This is not... Blood Puppy's fine, but it's not good. I do love him as a, as a child, but he's not really what we wanted out of this experience. Give me that soul heart, baby. Familiar that creates blue flies. Ooh, blue flies are going to be very good for us here. No. I picked up a coin and it crashed the game. What the hell? One moment. Okay, we're back to this bit. Just grab our bits. So this time, don't pick up the coin, I guess. <laughs> Don't pick up the coins. I don't know why that crashed the game, but it did. Maybe don't pick up the bag of trash. Maybe that's what caused it. Go! <laughs> the detonation damage is insane. 
Oh, f I forgot we have fucking Haunt to deal with here. Being his usual prickish self. There you go. <laughs> I managed to actually work gravity shift into that, that one that time. Um, tier size up, teenies. Um, honey slows you too. Hell no. Hell no. I ain't touching that with a 10-foot pole, my dudes. Do you know what would be really good on this character? Piercing. Piercing would be amazing. Oh, Conjoined is great too. Oh! Ah! Knocked my bomb right into me. It could have knocked it anywhere. And it knocked it right fucking into me. So annoying. Why you gotta do it like that? Why you gotta do me dirty? Oh my god, why was that so many? We need to detonate. Release the bombs. That didn't even kill anything. God damn it. Oh, and I got hit. Fuck me. Oh, I was like, why was that so laggy? Conjoined. We've got about a billion more tears circling around us. Also, you need to drop me a soul heart right now, game. This is a kind of a hard room. Okay. Don't place a bomb until we're out of the room. Can you stop? Can you please just stop giving me golden chests from Tinted Rocks? I desperately need HP. You know that game. How did that not kill you? Oh, there's a soul heart. My god. This is a pretty evil room as well, to be honest. What on earth just hit me? I'm getting peeved off with this game right now. It's just lying to me about what's hitting me. We don't need to use tear detonator in some of these rooms. Conjoined is actually kind of carrying right now. In this room we do. Oh, nice. Managing to freeze that guy's huge. That hit me? What? No way that hit me. We're definitely going to die. There's just not much we can do about it. Okay, Chunky Boy, do not kill me. I see you there. On use, consume your follower. Uh, consume all your follower familiars and throw them as a big piercing poisonous gut ball in your firing direction. Whoa, that's kind of a cool item, but not for us right now. This is definitely the end. These enemies hit me all the heck in time. Drop me a soul heart game. You've got to. You need to. You're required to. That's one of you dead. I did manage to bomb you without bombing myself, which is a sense of pride and accomplishment I wouldn't get with anything else. Okay, okay, okay. That didn't kill him. Okay, it did. Thank God. That was tense as fuck. That was an amazing run. What a cool character. That is Andromeda. Absolutely amazing. Next week, I'll probably end up doing the tainted version because that is a big mystery. But very cool character. Very interesting. I think I figured out most of his quirks and intricacies. I'm sure there's a few more secrets hidden beneath the surface, but... What a cool synergistic run we just had there, and we lived somehow. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.